I've already shuffled and I've also put two oracle cards for your recent pass. They are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go through the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So, Aries, in the recent past, we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then the other oracle reads, act. And on the flip side of this card that says act, it reads, charge forward. When we combine action with unwavering faith, the power of grace will meet our needs. So, in the recent past, there was probably someone that you felt very romantic with, uh, or you had deep feelings with, deep feelings about someone, and you realized that your feelings, they were real, and you wanted to explore more, and you thought the connection was worth it. So, you probably, you probably charged forward, and you just um, combined your actions and you charge forward with faith and you, you thought that, that that would possibly get your needs met in the connection so in the recent past yeah you from picking up that you had some really romantic strong feelings for someone and you just charge forward and um, I don't know if you're still with them or not but those are the two cards that I got for your uh, recent past so, let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have the world card and the death card. This is for the present time. So, Aries, the world card, it's about probably working hard and just knowing that you're almost to the finish line, or hoping that you're almost fit to the finish line in some kind of way. So it's important to know that you shouldn't quit now because you're really close. Uh, you're probably in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation, and you shouldn't be afraid to take it at this time. Because, like I said, you're getting really close to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you're probably working really hard for far too little money or either recognition or it could be both. It's going to be important. If this is the case, make sure you toot your own horn. Blow your own horn a little bit just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. And when this world card talks about love and relationships, basically if you're traveling during this time period and you're in the market for a relationship, if you're single Aries, uh, you could meet someone while you're away with this, this world card. That's what it's about. Um, this will be true even if you travel locally, not very far away. So... At this time, it's going to be important for you to make sure you talk to strangers and mingle. On the other hand, if you're a committed Aries, if you're in a long-term relationship, you're likely to find it rising to new and better heights at this time. Things in the love department, they should be quite interesting, but in a real good way. Now, this world card is paired with a death card. Now, I like to explain the death card because a lot of people get it twisted listen to, listening to um, different readers. But basically, the death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. It's really considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things, they are not I say they are not written in stone. This card simply indicates transformation and change. This is definitely a time of deep transformation for you. Likely 
to be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, it could be things or people that you've counted on or have gotten used to. They probably will be no longer available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Keep in mind though, this transition, it can be a difficult time for some people. The change is nearly always needed though. And when the death card talks about love and relationship, if you're clinging to a relationship that you're deeply unhappy in at this time because you don't want to let go of the familiar or because you hate to be alone, just know that you're doing yourself or your partner any favors. You're not doing you or your person any favors. Have a frank and honest discussion about any problems you have with the relationship. And if they can't or won't make a change, or you won't or can't, then perhaps it's probably time to let go. Not all relationships are fixable, but you should try first. So, this death card and the world card for your present time is basically, is basically about completion, completion of something. Um, once you go through this deep transformation with this death card, it's got to feel like you probably completed a cycle and uh, or either you're really close to um, something that you're trying to do or something that you probably started or it could be a situation it's going to feel like you completed something yeah so something's going to cause some deep transformation and change and once that happens you're going to feel completed or like I said close to completed something a situation maybe it could be a relationship but something has to kind of like uh, come to an end or a deep change. And then you'll feel um, completed. And you may feel like you need some rest and relaxation after this deep transformation. But um, yeah, there's going to be something that, that's going to make you feel more whole or finished. Or like something is 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 done and it's just gonna feel completed like I don't know deep transformation could be anything uh, maybe you're having cosmetic surgery uh, to for enhancements and like I'm trying to I just want you to know that the death card doesn't mean death not all it doesn't mean death it could mean like uh, it does mean deep transformation I'm trying to give you an example if you're having cosmetic surgery which a lot of people are doing these days um, they have enhancements and um, this is just an example uh, once it's finished there's some type of deep transformation that you've done to yourself so uh, you got this world card here it's just letting you know that you will feel like wow you finally completed something which is probably the surgery that you had been wanting for the past five years so that's an example of the death card and the world card. World card is about completion. Death card is about deep transformation. So when you hear the death card from other readers, don't freak out, don't panic. It just means deep transformation. Okay, so I hope I explained that pretty well. And that was for your present time, Aries. Now let's move on down and take a look at how they see you. The person that you're dealing with, Let's take a look at how they're viewing you, how they view this connection. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Now the Seven of Pentacles, it's a card about returns on investments. This can be literal, such as bank accounts returning money to you or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. You'll be reaping what you've sown at this time. This is very positive. 
you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a really good cause. You may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So you have to choose wisely at this time. Now, when this Seven of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, it points to things going well for, for you and the person you have your heart set on. And if you're a single Aries and you're not committed, uh, you need to be open to other possibilities because you should remind yourself that none of us have just one person that is the only person that we can be with and have a deep, soulful, happy relationship. Don't give in to feelings of suspicion or fear, or suspicion or fear at this time. So that was for um, anyone single. Um, you should remember that all is well when you get the Seven of Pentacles. So basically, the person that you're dealing with in this connection they see you like the Seven of Pentacles. They see you as you're feeling you're feeling good about the connection. They see you as um, as they see you as things. They see you as. Um, knowing that things are going well with the connection and that um, the time and energy that they put into this connection they see it um, as good as positive the seven of pentacles is a really it's a good card it's about being hopeful about the future those with a good cause and that's how they see you so Yeah, they see you as, well, if you take a look at the picture in the card, you see this lady, she's pouring water into a plant. So, they see you really wanting to make this connection work. Because she, she's feeding water into the plant, so she she's wanting it to grow. She's wanting to put effort into it. So she wants a return. The return is growth. So they see you as wanting this connection to continue, to move forward, to grow, be prosperous. So they see you once again as really wanting to make it work. And because it's paired with this Ten of Wands, now to, to explain the Ten of Wands, it's about a hard place in the relationship. It can be that you're undergoing a rough time. And it has nothing to do with the relationship, but it needs your support. Um, it indicates that there's something in the relationship that may need to be examined, looked at, and considered. And you you won't gain by pretend by pretending that there are no problems. And um, if you're single and you're looking for a relationship, and you, and you get this ten of wands. Your time will come eventually, but perhaps now is not the time for a relationship. Um, now is probably a better time to stop your search and just take some time for rest and reflection. So that's just if you're single, a little note there. But basically, back to how your person is seeing you. They see you as wanting the connection to grow with this Seven of Pentacles. And because you got this Ten of Wands here, Ten of Wands here, they see you, this connection, as um, probably a difficult, so there's some difficulties. Um, they see you as possibly undergoing some type of rough time. And it could have nothing to do with the relationship, but it needs, but you need their support. So they see you as needing their support, but there's some difficulties. Possibly with just you or either in the connection. So they could see you as probably carrying some type of heavy burden. 
And like I said, it may have nothing to do with the relationship, or it could, but they see you as needing their support. But um, they see you as really wanting to go forward with this connection also. Now, that's what we have for how they see you. Now, let's move on down and take a look at how you see them. We have the Ace of Cups and the King of Wands. Now, the Ace of Cups is a very powerful card in the tarot, especially when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it means that love can indicate new beginnings, but it could also mean new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are basically looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually at this time. So you'll be feeling really good about life overall, and it's a great time to make friends with this Ace of Cups. When it talks about love and relationships, this is an excellent card in the tarot regarding love. Either an existing relationship is going to turn for the better, uh, it will become deep, a deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It's going to feel like a brand new, fresh, encouraging start. And if you're single and you get this Ace of Cups in a reading, it's about a new relationship that's likely, likely to appear soon. So you're seeing your person as this Ace of Cups. Uh, you love them a lot. You see them as bringing you a lot of happiness. You see them as uh, affectionate. You see them as a, a positive spark positive uh, a new day you see them as possibly a new beginning yeah so this is really good you see them in a really loving way uh, it feels like a new beginning probably a lot of times for you in this connection so it's paired with this King of Wands. Now the King of Wands, it's an excellent card in the tarot. It signifies that someone you care about has protective and caring feelings about you and that they are willing to work hard if necessary to make the relationship work. You could be more than usually focused on your own work or career at this time. But make time for romance, even if you're single, or you could end up with work being the only thing in your life. So that explains the King of Wands when it comes to relationships. And you're seeing the person you're dealing with in this connection, like I said, as you see them as... As a new beginning, you see the connection as, a, as happiness. You see them as affectionate you see them as love but you also see them as having caring and protective feelings for you and that they're willing to work hard to make this connection work so that's pretty good you see them in a very loving positive way and willing to work hard on this connection so let's move on down and take a look at why it's all happening. We have the Seven of Wands, and it's paired with the Lover's card. Wow, there's a lot of love in this. A lot of love in this uh, reading. I like that. Yeah, he wants it to grow. As I talk about the plant, and then you see them as. Um, a brand new beginning, a fresh start. And now we got this lover's card, which is really big. So let me explain the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands, you could find um, that in any sort of competition or competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well and you should be feeling good and your projects are probably moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt, though. But now is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make clear where you stand with people. Your thinking is clear, and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. 
This card also points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now when the Seven of Wands talks about relationships and love, if you're already in a relationship, don't hesitate to speak your mind. This will only improve your relationship as long as you're simultaneously considerate of the way in which you speak your mind. And if you're a single Aries and you get the Seven of Wands, it indicates that you're probably about to meet someone new away from your usual search. So make sure you switch up your routine and try something new. Now, why this is all happening, why it's all happening in this connection is because of this Seven of Wands. Uh, there could be some sort of competitive situation, um, but things are going really well for this connection, and um, it feels good. This connection feels good to the both of you, and things are moving right along, uh, but this competition, uh, someone really wants to come out on top. So, someone's probably speaking their mind more than the other, uh, but the connection is moving right along. There could be some regular moments of self-doubt, um, probably due to this, some type of competition. Mm, maybe some other people that are outside of the connection um, trying to come in, and someone's feeling like there's competition. But basically, this connection is going pretty well with the Seven of Wands, but this competitive situation um, may be causing like some self-doubt for someone or maybe both of you, but it just requires some communication, speaking your mind, and being that it's paired with this lover's card, now, to explain the lover, lover's card, it means um, it's a time that will bring love in big capital bold letter, letters to the center stage of your life. Now, this could be a new relationship or a, re, or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you're going to be really happy about how romance is going and others will notice it too. They'll notice that you're glowing. Keep in mind with the lover's card it's real serious stuff. It could mean in a new relationship where you're meeting each other's family and talking about the word forever. Just remember to share your joy with those around you and who needs it. Um, because life at this time is going to feel really blissful to you now. Which is a wonderful thing. Like I said, this lover's card is is like the tops. It's about the strength of two people. It's about partnership. It's about deep love. It's coming together. It's a union. The lover's card is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. This is a twin flames. You could kind of say it's like twin flame card. It's it's a perfect, wonderful union. So, the why it's all happening is because there could be like some type of competition in this connection or going on surrounding, conne surrounding this connection and um, someone is trying to feel the fear and hang in there anyway. But there's so much love, a lot of love here, either for both of you, you or the person that you're dealing with. It could be both of you. I'm picking up that it's both of you. A whole lot of love because we're reading about why it's all happening. So, yeah, this is a really great thing. Um, so, if you're not feeling uh, that great about the connection now, you will really soon and it will feel like love is in the love is in big capital letters brought to the center stage of your life because like i said this lover's card 
it's very very powerful if you're not feeling that way now you will soon about this connection and um, you just have to deal with some type of competitive situation like I said that's going on inside of the connection or surrounding the connection and it's just gonna make you feel like um, um, like I said you might have some self-doubt just a little bit but this lovers card is powerful it's gonna um, overrule any type of fear that you have because of the competition so this is a really good reading Aries I like this reading for you so I hope you enjoyed this reading I'll put a link below of the extended of this reading and I'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself best case scenario best case scenario and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks uh, if I don't get a chance to do the extended extended version of this reading there'll um, be a link below uh, where you can get a personal reading so you could do either or and I just want to say I thank you so very much for watching. I hope your 2020 is going well. I hope February is a beautiful month for you, which it looks like it will be. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I hope that you're having a beautiful February. And I just want to say thank you so much for listening and have a great day.